We will start with uh, Colette Dendera. Uh, Colette uh, is the, uh, is, has, holds a PhD degree from the University of uh, Zimbabwe. And uh, he is a lecturer, assistant, associate lecturer at the University of, of Cape Town in South Africa. Uh, he has his PhD uh, with the uh, laboratory of Emeritus Professor Leif Petilson at Fudin's Hospital in the Division of Clinical Pharmacology, Karolinska Institute. And uh, as he says here that Professor Leif Petilson is one of the godfathers of pharmacogenetics. So uh, Colette, you will share with us uh, your experience on the pharmacology science. Get, get ready. So you have 10 minutes for your presentation. Good afternoon. Uh, it's always uh, very nice to speak after other people have spoken because uh, it's easier because they've already uh, done the hard part. I want first to um, thank a colleague of mine who was supposed to be presenting this talk, uh, Professor Masimire Mwa. So I am presenting this on his behalf as part of the pharmacological uh, science uh, gateway. I have uh, skipped quite a number of slides because a lot of has been said uh, already. <laughs> if you look um, in terms of the um, the e Africa e EU F FP7 uh, initiative, we piggybacked on this initiative and then came up with the pharmacology science gateway of which it is um, uh, sort of being coordinated from IBIST. This is a um, a research uh, lab institute in uh, in Zimbabwe. Uh, this map just shows you uh, the countries that are involved in this uh, pharma uh, pharmacology science uh, gateway. Maybe to put it into perspective, if you look at the uh, Africa grid science gateway, you will see that <coughs> um, the pharmacology science gateway is one of the on the on the drop down menus. You can actually find it on the um, on the website for the Africa Science uh, Grid Network. The aim of this um, <coughs> um, uh, uh, gateway is that what we want to do is to design, uh, develop, and test uh, a concept for e infrastructure for African medical bioscience science. Uh, we want to focus on biomedical and pharmacological sciences uh, so that we might actually improve clinical trials um, which uh, will also possibly uh, improve African uh, health. If I can take you through the objectives of our uh, initiatives that we would like actually to, um, to make accessible tools for research and training in a manner that will ensure vibrance of the north, south, and south, uh, south pharmacology re research. Um, many of us, we are trained in the uh, northern laboratories where, which are very much well equipped. When we finish our training, we go back to our home countries. The challenge now is that when you are there, there is no critical mass. You are alone. So there is nobody to bounce ideas against when you meet problems. So we thought that if we can have connectivity with other fellow people who are in other uh, northern countries who are back in Africa, we can actually have um, a system where we can start to support each other. Um, we, we also want to, <clears throat> um, this will help to uh, remove um, physical barriers because, I mean, Africa is just very um, the, much big in terms of distance up, uh, across. We, we want to continue also supporting each other because most of the people when we get, uh, they get trained in the um, northern labs, when they go back home because of this lack of critical mass and capacity, they resort just to continue now to do teaching and no research because they don't have um, much support. So we are hoping that uh, through this uh, pharmacology science gateway, we will be able to build a critical mass of um, pharmacology uh, researchers and leaders and um, through it also train um, the future leaders in pharmacology research. We mostly would want to uh, target postdocs and mid-career pharmacologists. We also want to look at uh, the faculty and mentors. We're looking at leading scientists who are in, in Africa and trying to make them available through this um, uh, connectivity. 
um, the concept would involve continuous research activity when someone is uh, gone back home, uh, access to mentorship and the use of applications and research tools that we're using when you're in the northern labs, uh, especially like some programs that you have to pay. So we are most likely, we are, we are looking at programs that are uh, open source and free, uh, mentorship to competent and independent research leaders, and also we are trying to encourage co collaboration, especially among young scientists and uh, across Africa, and also to build the capacity to uh, compete for for grants and and and, and, and writing skills. Um, they are currently we are continuing to populate the the pharmacology science gateway, but we have identified themes that you find on the left there on the diagram where you will be looking at um, uh, genomics and bioinformatics, uh, bioanalysis and drug analysis, uh, pharmaceutics and uh, pharmacometrics, and all other aspects. Already uh, there is uh, there was a demonstration in the morning uh, outside on the posters. There's someone who was uh, demonstrating how you can actually use some of these. Um, uh, uh, links that we already have. So uh, this is just a low down of the uh, activities that we are um, interested in, especially uh, we have uh, a long, like we've started, there's a long history of research in Africa in terms of pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics, the PKPD, and also bioanalytical chemistry. But so we now want to connect people so that there is real time um, Connectivity in terms of if someone has encountered uh, problems. Um, and if for the sake of uh, time. So, what we will do is we will engage um, African stakeholders at various levels. Uh, we look at uh, organizations, we look at individuals. We've started with individuals first, those who are interested, but we will continue to build as more people become interested and also become aware of these um, uh, concepts. Sorry for that. And then we will also establish a motivated African leadership to develop an implementation model that we are we'll doing. I just want to, 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 to move on to um, the issues that we, we currently face. We want to um, have expert teams for the development of face-to-face e-learning-based content for the pharmacology science gateway. Then we're also looking at resources for the organization of the face-to-face -face, uh, workshops uh, for hands-on training. Um, we're looking at if we can access free online um, uh, material and um, also um, access to other um, um, secure and affordable, reliable institutional or internet resources. So the, the, the idea is to, to be able to create a critical mass when uh, among researchers in pharmacology in, in Africa. For example, currently there is a program called H3 Africa. There is a lot, massive amount of gen uh, genomic data that is being generated, but we don't have the capacity first to handle that as well as to analyze that. But there are now nodes that have high uh, performance computing capacity. We want to access that so that all the researchers in the, um, who are in the H3 Africa program can actually tap into resources such, such as the ones that the University of Cape Town is now the high performance computing center. Then we can allow other people to access that through these uh, initiatives. Um, so I just want to go on to our planned activities for the year, just for the sake of time. What we have done is that we have already reached out to individuals and we know what the needs of the people uh, are, uh, the ones that we have come into contact with. We have identified uh, experts who, who will assist us in the face-to-face -face, uh, uh, meetings because we need to develop content for all uh, the different aspects that we want to, uh, to assist each other in, in terms of like genomics or uh, pharmacokinetics, and then we, we hope by uh, the end of this year in December we will have held a workshop and also pro, uh, done uh, content population for at least one of the, the themes. And then uh, in the long term we want to develop as many resources that can be of use by the life uh, scientist. And this actually also attests to we should also be looking for uh, areas where we can get sustainable funding for such activities. Thank you.